I wanted to talk to you about pick up and drop off this year at the middle school and high school. If you have brought kids here in the past, um, it's going to be a little bit of a change and we're hoping that with this change, it will help us and help you to kind of expedite the end of the day and hopefully the beginning of the day as well. When you bring students in this year to drop them off in the morning, uh, the ideal time to, to get here is anywhere between 7.15 and 7.30. That'll give the students plenty of time to get into the building. 7.40 is going to be when the official attendance is taken. So if you can arrive again between 7.15 and 7.30 to drop off students, if you are transporting your student, that would be ideal. As you come into the main driveway here, there's one way in, one way out. Um, what we're going to have you do this year is we're going to have you pull into the uh, student parking lot, which is the first parking lot that you get to on the left-hand side. As you pull in, you can see we have somebody pulling in right now. There's going to be an area for drop-off. You can stop your car, allow your student to get out, and then they're going to come out of that parking lot along the sidewalk, come across the, lay, uh, the raised walk here, and then they're going to head to school down this sidewalk. It'll only take them a few minutes. So again, if you get here at 7.30, that should not be a problem. At the end of the day, we're going to try to stagger our release. So the first group we're going to dismiss will be students who drive themselves. So that'll take place at about 2 o'clock. And what that will mean is it'll give those high school students a chance to clear out this driveway. So if you are picking up your child, um, we would like you to arrive somewhere between 2.05 and 2.10. You can pull into the student parking lot at that point. A lot of the cars will be, uh, will be out of there. You can pull in and um, we will walk the students up the sidewalk here. Again, they'll come across the raised walk and they will meet you at your car. Again, please pull into a parking spot when you arrive in the afternoons to give your child a chance to find you there, especially if your, your child might be lagging behind a little bit. Buses roll here uh, approximately 2.16. So that should give you and your child plenty of time to get on the road, not get stuck behind a bus. And uh, we are gonna hold those, those uh, bus riders until 2.10. So uh, it should work out really well. I don't think it'll be perfect from the very beginning. We're gonna have to work some things out over time. And I might come back to you with a new message telling you, hey, wait, we're gonna try something different. Um, but we are, you know, looking at things, um, evaluating, assessing, trying to make decisions that are going to help you, your child, and the school function at top capacity. So I think that covers everything, um, and I uh, look forward to uh, working with you. Obviously, the first week, um, it's not a 2 o'clock dismissal, it's 11 o'clock dismissal. 11 o'clock, we will get the student drivers out. Um, 11.05 to 11.10 if you can come in and get your parking spot um, and wait for your children up here in the student parking lot and then we will dismiss our bus riders at 11.10. All right, have a great day.